first we'll power both sides to the 8. So x power to x power to 8 and all of this power to the 8. And this is equal to 2 power to the 8. All right, now we'll use the rules of power, which says that if we have a power to the b power to the c, this is equal to a power to b multiplied by c. So we can say that this is x power to 8 multiplied by x power to the 8 equals to still 2 power to the 8. Now we use another rule of power. Well, it is exactly the same because if we have this, we can also write this is equal to a power to the c power to the b. So, so if we look at this, we could say that this is x power to the 8, which is power to x power to the 8, still equal to 2 power to the 8. Now, if we look at this and this, we can we will try to see if we can get the right side to be a number power to the same number. And we'll start out by saying, well, this is equal to 2 power to 2 power to the fourth. Again, we're using the same rule because 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. And if we calculate this, we can see that this is 4 power to the fourth. So now we can see that this this is another rule. If we have a power to the a equals b power to the b, then we must have that a is equal to b. So we know that x power to the 8 equals to 4. So this gives us that x equal to the 8th root of 4. Now, what does this mean? Well, this is actually the solution, and we can just try it out and see if we look at the equation up here, then we have 8 root of 4 power to the 8 root of 4 power to the 8. And this up here obviously is equal to 4, so 8 root of 4 power to 4. And if we write this, this is the same as writing 4 power to 4 over 8, which is equal to 4 power to a half, which is equal to the root of 4, which is equal to 2. So x is approximately 1.19.